all you YouTube do-it-yourselfers. Today's project I will be replacing the valve cartridge on this Delta kitchen faucet. The faucet in question looks like this. The valve is part of the base of the faucet. This particular model uses a Delta RP50587 replacement cartridge that I got at Home Depot for about $30. This cartridge is used for a variety of Delta faucets and the replacement process will be much the same on any faucet that uses this cartridge. Tools needed are a small screwdriver, a set of Allen keys or wrenches like this, a pair of channel locks or a medium sized crescent wrench and of course the replacement valve cartridge. This one being the RP50587 cartridge. The first thing that needs to be done is to shut off the water supply. So look under the sink and you should find two shutoff valves. One for hot and one for cold water that look like this and this. Turn the handles clockwise to close them. Sometimes the hot water shutoff can be a bit hard to turn at first, but with a little persuasion it should close. You can also turn the water off by closing the main shutoff that supplies your home, if you know where it is. If fully off, there should be no water flow when you open the tap. If you have a sink stopper, it's a good idea to put it in at this point, just in case you drop any small parts into the sink, they don't go down the drain. Look carefully at the base of the faucet handle. There is a small cover right here. That covers a set screw that holds the handle to the faucet. Using a small screwdriver, gently pry out this cover. With the cover removed, loosen the set screw using a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. It is not necessary to remove the screw, just loosen it about one turn or so. If you do end up backing the screw all the way out, careful, do not drop it down the drain. Now you can remove the handle from the stem. Next, remove this decorative cover, unscrewing it by hand, like this. Different faucet models have different styles of decorative covers. Most all can be removed by unthreading them by hand. The top of the valve body is now exposed. Using a crescent wrench or channel locks, loosen this brass retainer cap by turning counterclockwise. Once loose, you can unthread it by hand. This exposes the valve cartridge. Pull the cartridge free of the fixture, paying attention to the orientation of the cartridge as it comes out of the faucet because you want to make sure you put the new cartridge in the same way. Inspect the seat where the cartridge sits for any dirt or debris. Basically, make sure it's clean. The cartridge has an orange switch here. Normally, I leave this position where the factory set it, over to the left. However, if you have very hot water or want to reduce the temperature of the water coming out of the tap, you can flip it over to the right. All this really does is limit how far the handle can move toward the hot water side of the valve. Now, look at the bottom of the cartridge. You will find these two protruding lugs. They help assure you correctly position the cartridge on the seat. Set the new cartridge down on the seat the same way the old cartridge came out, making sure the lugs index into their mating recesses. Place the brass retainer over the cartridge and thread it into place. Then snug it up with your crescent wrench or channel locks. Do not use your gorilla strength to torque this down. Just snug it up. Thread the decorative cover back into place by hand. Place the handle back on the spindle. Tighten the set screw. Again, do not get carried away and over tighten this or you will strip it and a simple project suddenly became a bigger one. Install the decorative plug over the set screw hole.
reach down under the sink and turn the water back on. Check the shutoffs for leaks. Back on top, check the faucet for function and leaks. And you are done. I hope you found that helpful. Good luck and remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride and thanks for watching.